Yo, what up, bros and brosettes? Um, yeah, it's me again. Your boy. Oh, sh crap. Anyway, um, going to be going over a few things today. Going to be reviewing two VSTs. Uh, the first VST is going to be uh, a binauralizer. I couldn't tell you the definition of that, but it binauralizes uh, any sound that you put on it. <laughs> and uh, we're going to use a uh, stereo tool by Flux. Um, they're both free, available for download at the respective websites. You can Google them and um, get them and implement them into your music if you so desire. So let's get right to it. I'm going to play just a foundation of a beat that I started uh, just for this uh, tutorial. Um, crap. Yeah. So we have the binauralizer. Pretty decent. Um, actually, it's a pretty good VST. I recommend uh, using this VST with a stereo surround sound system Dolby 5.1 or better I'm not sure there, if there is better but if there is use it <laughs> but anyway like I was saying that this VST can take your mixes um, a little further uh, if you ever notice in certain songs that they have just a uh, they have the sub like just in the trunk not all in the mix in the, uh, the house system which is the speakers that are actually in the car like in the doors or in the dash or wherever S they use this thing right here well they may not use this actually particular uh, VST but they use stuff like it and what it can do is um, you can position a sound anywhere in the sonic field so if you want it in, in the trunk you just dra drag it back into the trunk and it's gonna stay there you know what I mean that's where it's gonna be at and you got your full range of whatever to do up here with your other sounds you can also uh, take it underneath the beat by going up and down and you can also do it figuratively with numbers over here as well um, you got left and right Then you have forward and backward. You could put it in your face, all the way in the front, or you could put it behind you, all the way in the back, wherever you desire. And then you can go up and down. Make it sound like it's above your head, or make it sound like it's below your ears, wherever. You could actually, uh, I think you can automate this. No, not this one. That's the other one. Um, you got presence, of course. But anyway, you see the you see the options you have. I would recommend getting in here, playing with it, and um, making your uh, like giving your sounds a particular place in the um, the mix, so that you have room to do whatever you want, prevent muddiness without doing so much EQ, um, because the sonic field is 360. It's not just 180. Like it like it defines up here. This is just 180 degrees. Oh crap. That's all that is. You have 360 to work with. So work with that. Um, next we're gonna work with the stereo tool, which is pretty cool because it can control uh, those big fat sounds that cover a lot of the sonic field or those little small sounds that don't that sound good but they don't really have enough uh or oomph or whatever so you can take that sound and that big fat sound that you want don't really want everywhere in your mix and shrink it gives you control over that sound because sometimes it's hard to replace the sound and you don't want to have to uh replace the sound with a worse sound that you had already thought of because you can't control it in your mix so this can enable you to go in outrageous places with it you know what I mean you can fatten it up have it as your bass sound like your foundation 
and then you can put everything else up here. Your snare over here, your kick in the middle, of course, uh, hi hats, however you mix, man. You, this thing will give you a whole lot more control. You can even pan it while it's fattened up. Pretty cool, huh? So, try that out. Um, yeah, just try it out, man. I, I encourage you to try the Flux F L U X um, stereo tool, or type in F L U X S T T S T T. Um, that'll get you to the website most definitely. And this is the H3D Binaural Spatializer by a long whatever long cop sounds pretty gay but hey give it a shot let me know what you think in the comments below or just hit me on facebook at vernon devon and or twitter at all about the biz yeah and you'll be all right oh another thing let me see Oh, I can't even do it. Yeah, I can't even do it. It sucks. Let me see if I can do it. Nope, I can't even do it. I decided to do another video on that. So anyway, like I was saying, this is all about the biz. And yes, I'm all about the biz. Get at your boy. Um, I'm here to take care of y'all if I can. Uh, not financially, of course. So, holler at me.